Teen hotspot in New Mexico is in Otero County, where three detention facilities are located. This afternoon, the Department of Health says 145 people in those facilities have contracted COVID-19. 39 at the Otero County Prison Facility, 66 at the Processing Center, which is the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Facility. Both are managed by MTC Community, which is a private company. And 40 prisoners at the Otero County Prison Facility managed by the New Mexico Corrections Department. One woman says she is desperately worried about her fiancé, who she says has a history of heart failure. ABC 7's Kate Bury reports from Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. Topanga Blinko does fear for her fiance's health. Now, she didn't want to identify him because she fears for retaliation in the prison, but she did send over these documents which detail his extensive heart problems, including dilated cardiomyopathy. And it's just a really scary feeling. It's like your heart's breaking, knowing you can't do anything about it, but just sit there and wait. Topanga Blinko said she worries herself to sleep every night thinking of her fiance. Anxiety, depression, sadness. You want to help and you know you can't. You know, your word is something, but that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to stand up for all of them, not just for my fiance, for all of them who deserve it, and they all do. Blinko says her fiance is serving time for an armed robbery at the Otero County Prison Facility, which is managed by Management and Training Corporation, a private company. In response to the pandemic, the company released this video showing that inmates are making hundreds of face masks for the facility, medical staff and the community. We have um, inmates who are good with the tailoring. We have other inmates who are good with sewing. So I thought it was going to be a good idea for, for to protect our, us, our families, and the community. I'm one of the one of the ones. I'm diabetic. I have to go to medical twice a day, and everyone's wearing their PPEs. They're wearing their masks. Still, Blinko says she wants her fiance out of the facility while there is a COVID-19 outbreak. He will die. Like he's a really high risk and. He deserves to be let out and released so he can live what life he has left. Blinko said her fiance has served three years of a 13 year sentence, but she says she doesn't know if he'll survive the next 10 years given his extreme risk during the COVID-19 outbreak at the Otero County Prison Facility. Reporting from Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC7.